Uh, you know, I just was thinking about all the things that I'm required to do, thinking that would be something really special. Oh, <laughs> a month, I would suffocate in this atmosphere, your father completely absorbed with his gout and his books, Uncle Vanya with his depression. And to top it all off, your stepmother. What about my stepmother? Everything ought to be beautiful. In a, in a, and a human being, and, and sure, she, she, she is beautiful. But all she does is sleep, and eat, and walk about, and bewitch us all with her beauty. And that's all. <laughs> Perhaps I'm being too hard on her. <laughs> like your Uncle Vanya, I too am dissatisfied with life. And we're both becoming grumpers. Are you really dissatisfied with life? On the whole, I love life. But this narrow provincial Russian life, I cannot endure. I don't like people. I look forward to nothing. It's been a long time since I've been in love with Anyone? No one? No one. Oh, please, don't, I beg you, don't drink anymore. <coughs> <coughs> it's so unlike you. You are fine, noble. You have such a gentle voice. More than that, unlike everyone else I know, you are a beautiful person. <laughs> so why do you want to be like other people who drink and play cards? Mm -hmm. Tell me, Mikhail. If I had friends, or a younger sister, and you found out that she, well, let us say, loved you. How would you feel about it? that I couldn't love her. My mind is occupied on other things. Uh, however, if I'm going, I should go. <laughs> Say goodbye for the evening, my dear. Or else we'll go on talking until morning.
didn't say anything to me. His heart and soul are still hidden from me. And why do I feel so hopeful? I said to him, you are refined, noble. You have such a gentle voice. I wonder if that was out of place. His voice vibrates and caresses. I can still feel it in the air. <laughs> when I said that to him about a younger sister, he didn't understand. Oh, how dreadful it is that I am not beautiful. How dreadful. Wow. <laughs>